Hello and good morning from Granada, Spain. Some very good news. Nelly is back with me on the vlog, which is awesome. We are finally doing a little trip uh, together, which is really cool. And yeah, where are we? We are in Granada and we are visiting the Alhambra today and are trying to get some photos. Yeah, so it's a bit of a gray day and it's raining, which makes it difficult to get photos. And but it's cold. Yeah, it's also a bit cold. It's meant to be spring, but not there yet. So. What do you think? Uh, should we just give it a go and see what like happens? the most out of it. I think we can get some good shots. So I've got this little, very handy Canon EOS 1100 and I think it's great because it's not as big, not as heavy and I can travel with it all the time and you don't really need a really good camera or an expensive camera to take good photos. So yeah, I just enjoy doing it with this little one and Greg's doing it with his special expensive one. So. It should also be mentioned that my lovely parents are here visiting from Canada. Practicing our Instagram photography. So a bit of a break from the photography and some history. The Alhambra was built in 1238 by the first Sultan of the Nasserid dynasty and it ended up being something like 200 plus years till 1492 that the Nasserid dynasty uh, sort of had power over this entire area around what is current day Granada, Spain. So there were 12 sultans in total from the year 1238 until 1492 when they were eventually overrun by Christians uh, and that was uh, King Ferdinand and his wife, uh, I can't remember, what was the wife's name? Isabella, that's why we got dad around. Yeah, very cool history to a very cool place. The palace has no heating. So photography tips on cold, gray, rainy days, definitely try and get inside, look for patterns, look for reflections, look for um, any kind of symmetry or balance, uh, color, if there's like natural color indoors, 
for sure. But uh, yeah, hard to shoot landscape on a day like this. It's kind of grayed out. Uh, so look for pattern and detail uh, and reflections are always good. Puddle of, double puddle, puddle porn, puddle gram, whatever you need, more reflections. So the grounds of the Alhambra is a photographer's dream. There are so many good images to be had around here, um, from the gardens to the palace to all the infrastructure. It's sort of like an ancient walled miniature city and uh, all you need is a few hours to walk around and you can get a whole collection of awesome images. Even on a day like today that's kind of shit, to be honest, it's really not ideal conditions at all for shooting photography. There's always still a good composition and a good frame to be had. So yeah, you know, if you're out traveling and you've only got a couple days in one place, make the most of it and get out there and get the shots that you can in the time that you have because it's always worth it to get the shot. So that is it for the Alhambra vlog. It has been, uh, yeah, interesting. What do you yeah, think? Very impressive monuments and a lot to see, but now we are pretty cold. Yeah, it's, uh, it's not the best day, but incredible architecture. Beautiful. Yeah, amazing design work. It's just, it's overwhelming really. And yeah, very cool to photograph. I think yeah. we got a lot of good shots even. I mean, shooting indoor, shooting reflections, shooting detail, you can still get some good stuff. Architecture, yeah, very good. Yeah, wide angle for sure. I'm Perfect. using my 16 to 35 lens. Might as well zoom as well. Yeah, I guess so. You brought your telephoto and yeah, got a couple of good zoom shots. It's probably pretty dark going under the bridge. But yeah, that's it. So thanks for watching. I hope you've enjoyed the video and I will see you on the next one. See you soon.